Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to discuss about the face recognition library. And this particular library is pretty much amazing because if you have at least some 10% idea of creating a face recognition algorithm, you know that how much pain we go through that, right? We need to correct a huge number of elements, huge number of images, sorry. Train it properly, you know, train it for how many number of epochs. And it really, really becomes a very difficult task. But by using this particular library itself, you know, this library will actually help you to recognize, manipulate faces from Python or from the command line with the world's simplest face recognition library. That basically means in this, you don't have to train something, you know. You just have to give one image. If you give one image, then only it will automatically be able to recognize anyone, all right? Suppose if I give my image, I have to just give one image and it can be an older image also. And it will also try to recognize me, you know, by just comparing with that specific images, right? For this, for utilizing this particular library, you will be requiring Dlib, okay? So built using Dlib state of art uh, face recognition. So Dlib is basically your uh, C++ library. Here you can see that it contains machine learning algorithms and tools for creating complex software in C++ to solve real world problems. And if you really want to use this Dlib guys, first of all, you have to go and install Visual Studio community version, right? Uh, other version like professional enterprise, uh, if you are actually just using it for individual or for learning purpose you can go with community 2019 so just download this that is community 2019 version of a visual studio 2019 and from here what you have to do is that you just have to install this desktop development with c plus plus because that is actually required so that you will be able to you know compile the c plus uh, plus toolkit uh, which is nothing but dlib okay so for that purpose just make sure that you check this particular box and try to just install it i've already done that in my local system now coming to the next thing guys over here when you're trying to use this dlib you know some of the examples over here you can see that suppose the image is actually given and from this particular image here you can see that uh, automatically the face is recogni recognized easily both the faces are recognized very very easily now here also you can see that uh, some of the example over here the left hand side after applying uh, this particular face recognition you'll be able to find out all the face locations also right here you have your eyes uh, lips even checks uh, everything you can actually find out so some of the examples are there one more example is basically given over here just by giving one image you will definitely be able to just compare your faces and do it and i'll try to show you all these things practically to you all so that it will make complete sense to you okay now this is my entire uh, uh, all the files that I required in my training images I have just taken one of my image like this so here you can see a very very old image of mine to just show you that what is the performance of this you know and if I go into this documentation the accuracy is somewhere on 99.38 uh, percentage you know and which is pretty much amazing okay all the materials will be given in the description of this particular video now the next thing is that I have this I have also created a requirement.txt now what we are trying to do is that we'll just try to create a simple attendance system that basically means if it is able to recognize my face over there it will just try to put that information in the attendance uh, in this particular excel file that is what i'm planning to do it okay so without wasting any time let's go ahead now first of all uh, i'll go to my anaconda prompt inside my anaconda prompt first of all i'll create my environment in order to create the environment just search for how to uh, just search for like anaconda create environment with python 3.7 here what you are going to get here you are going to get this particular command conda create minus f my env python 3.6 so here i'm just going to paste it over here and here i'm just going to write my own environment name like one shot and let me make this as python 3.7 okay that is what i have to actually do press enter automatically this particular environment will get created very very simple now once this particular environment is getting created i have already created this environment guys i'm just going to do activate one shot now once I do this, here you can see that uh, I'll just go to my E drive now because my entire file is present in the E drive. So I'm just going to write CD inside this one shot learning. If I go and see my directory, so here I have all the files. Now let me just clear the screen. Now first of all, uh, what we need to install is that requirement.txt. Let's see what all libraries I require in requirement.txt. Um, I have to install CMake, I have to install Dlib, I have to install this face recognition libraries. Everything is basically given over here. Along with that, we have uh, Pillow, OpenCV, Python, because I really want to show you this in a form of project so that you'll be able to see my face and all the records will get captured over there. Okay, so let's proceed. Uh, after this, what I'm going to do is that I'll just uh, install all the requirements. So pip install minus r requirement.txt. 
and then I'm just going to press enter. Here you can see that all the requirements are already satisfied because I've done the installation. I'm just going to clear the screen once again. Uh, remember guys, if you don't have Visual Studio and if you have not installed CMake and Dlib, then definitely you are get, going to get an error. So please make sure that you install the Visual Studio with desktop development with C++ so that it will be able to compile the CMake and Dlib libraries itself, right? Very, very important thing. Otherwise you will face definitely problem. Now let me just go back to my command prompt and here I'm inside my command prompt. Now inside this particular command prompt, what I can do is that I can open my spider. Okay. Probably if spider is not there. Uh, you can also use any, uh, just write pip install spider. You can use any ID like PyCharm also you can use. Okay. So pip install spider automatically the spider will be installed. Now and then you just open the spider. So this is my entire code. Okay. First I'm having the training images. So here is Krishna training image. I'll just put one here is Sudanshu, right? So two images I have. And what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to use these two images and it will be able to determine my face, right? So over here, you can see that guys, uh, this is my code inside this. I'm using CV2 face recognition library date time so that I will be able to put the attendance inside it, you know, with respect to the date time. Now, after this, you can see that from PIL import uh, image grab. So I've given my training images path, uh, class name. I'll be able to find out how many number of unique images I have over here. And based on the name, I have this many unique number of images. So this entire code will actually try to find out like how many number of unique classes are there, right? Then you have find encodings. Encodings basically helps you to find out the face encodings. Face encodings basically some of the face features, fun some of the face features information. And then here is my another function which will say that if I'm able to, if it is able to find my class with respect to this particular image, it will just try to put the attendance. Again, I'm not just going to go into deep because this is some simple Python code along with the date time you're trying to put up some information. Then I'm just going to use the open CV. After using the open CV, you'll be able to see that uh, I'm reading the image, then I'm doing CV2 dot resize, then CVT color, then I'm trying to find out the face location from that specific image. And then we are also trying to do the face encoding. After this, we are making the matches when it is trying to compare the face it basically compares with respect to the faces. And then it gives you the output. Similarly, with respect to face disk here, you can see the face distance also. Now, uh, apart from this, you have match index of NP argument with respect to the minimum uh, values uh, with respect to the matching that you're actually getting. And this is the remaining code where we are coming up with a rectangle box on top of the first face, right? And finally, I'm doing CV do dot I am show webcam of image. So let's execute this without wasting any time and let's see the output. Um, and now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to disable my video because right now my face is being uh, seen when I'm recording the video over here. So let me just disable it. After disabling, uh, you'll be able to see that particular output. So guys, now I've just disabled my video. What I'm going to do is that I'm just going to ex execute this entire code and probably show you the output, how it will look like and whether it will be able to determine based on my image. So remember my just one image I've actually provided here where I'm not look even looking good and probably if i compare my face with this particular face i think there's a lot of difference so let's execute this i'm just going to execute it shift enter and now here you can see that uh you can see my face with crush Nayag. just but just imagine that with this particular image you are able to just compare my face very much easily right so this is how uh strong this particular library is this particular amazing library is and yes it can also able to detect your multiple faces with this specific code. You can also try with your face, with your friend's face and many of my other face, right? So just try it by yourself and try to have a look. Uh, probably you'll be able to understand a lot of things. So, so guys, now you had seen my face over there. Now I also have to see this particular CSV file, you know, whether it was getting captured or not. So if I open this particular CSV file, so here you can see that, yes, we were able to capture this particular information. Let me open it from here, then it'll look quite better. So this particular CSV file, when I'm actually trying to show you, probably you'll be able to see that all the information was getting captured along with the time, right? So here you can see all the details has been getting captured along with the time, you know, probably I had also tried with some other images. So here you can see that attendance has been taken. So this is a pretty amazing thing. And now you can take this information and put it in the database. You can create anything that you actually want. So. I hope you like this particular video. Uh, this was a simple attendance system with the uh, face recognition attendance system, which is pretty much amazing. And I think uh, other than that, I guess uh, you loved it uh, and you also got to learn a lot of things with respect to it, right? So I hope you like this video guys and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you one doll. Bye-bye.